Hello and welcome back to my Newcastle United Ultimate Career Mode. This is episode 23 and in today's episode we have Leicester City away and Southampton at St James's Park. First game being Leicester away. Leicester sit 10th with 43 points. We are 12th with 39. So a good win here and I think what I said in the last episode, hopefully we can finish in 9th or 10th, obviously depending on other results if we even get our positive results. And then the second game is at home against Southampton, who are level on points with us. So I'd like to try and win that regardless because we're higher than them. Um, after those games, we'll be on 35, which means we only have three games left till the end of the season. Here is the team I'm going with against Leicester away. We have Kennedy, Mbolo, Felix, Shelby, Sangir, Diame, Dummit, Cher, Lasell, Yedlin and Darlow. Fully fit squad. No need to change. We've got a week after today's game to play Southampton, so I shouldn't need to rest anyone. So if we don't have any injuries or suspensions, this will be the team I'll be going with in both games. So let's get to the game. So here we are at the King Power Stadium against Leicester, who are, well, I can't remember now, two or three points above us in 10th, which is where I would like to finish with Southampton at St James's Park after this game today. Yedlin making the run. Quiet. Hardy's sure even working back. Look. Ah, oh, it's slow. Come on, Diame. Kennedy. Now Kennedy. Diame. That's a wonderful hit. And Diame has struck again in this season. What a season he's had for me. And it's a wonderful, wonderful start. Oh, he uh, hit that well. Had to go high with Maguire's slide. Oh, just missed him. But Casimir Schmeichel was nowhere near it. Brilliant start and a great finish. Is he first, 13th, is that? 13th league goal. He's the highest in the club. Giame strikes again. Well, half time, 1 0. I've played well. I've done a couple of silly passes that have given them opportunities, but they've not really had a clear cut chance. And Diame, with his 13th goal of the season, has put Newcastle 1 0 up. So into the second half at the King Power. Newcastle 1 0. No changes from either side. And let's hope we can keep the pressure on and get another goal. Looks like shot. Oh, that was the wrong pass. Oh, that was lucky. Yedlin. Let's spread it, make them work. We push it through again. Oh, I have a pen. Oh, that was a silly challenge from. Oh, I was going to say Chigwell. I stopped Chigwell. Latto. Latto. I don't even know who that is. But it's a penalty. As soon as he lunged, all I need to do is make contact. Yeah, well played, Yedlin. Silly challenge. And Shelby, I think this would be either 12 or 13 for him as well. So he could be on level with Diame. It's a lovely finish. It's two. Brilliant. Another couple from my midfield. It's a goal that's really Made sure Michael go the wrong way as well. Excellent penalty. And a nice early goal in the second half to make it 2 0 to Newcastle. Is that level with Diarme with 13 or is he one below with 12? Yeah, he's 12. Restarting at 2 0. So let's keep this going, Toon. Be nice if Mbolo got on the score sheet. Maybe even Kennedy as well after his goal in the. Well, so on uh, episode 22. Doing well to keep the ball. Lovely turn. Ricardo Pereira. Now Ihenacho. Good width in the attack here. Looking Oh no, giving it straight to him. Oh, good save Darlo. So three subs for me. This is making a sub as well. Kennedy's coming off of a Murphy. I've switched Felix to the left, Murphy on the right. And Hayden for Sangir. And key for Diarme. Well, 
And here come the changes now. Giamme and Sangi were brilliant. Kennedy not very good today. Let's hope the three can give me a little bit more energy. Tighten up the midfield. Shelby, that's beautifully done. Oh, that's a great save. That was a wonderful effort as well. And Felix could have got another one. Would have been his third goal. Oh, oh come on, Murphy. Whoa, great victory. Away to Leicester at the King Power. It's Leicester City nil, Newcastle 2. And that result pulls Leicester down and hopefully gets me to finish in 10th or 9th. But we've got to carry this form on at home against Southampton. Well, Martin, I know you're not happy, mate, but I wasn't impressed with your performance at the beginning of the season, hence Darlow. I'm not saying Darlow's better than you because Darlow's just as poor, but you're both not going to be at the club in the summer. So I've already thought about your future and it's not at Newcastle. So thank you for your concerns. So before we go into the game at home against Southampton, after our 2-0 victory at the King Power Stadium, we have dragged Leicester down from 10th to 11th, only a point above us after their loss against us. And Southampton lost their game, so they're still on 39 points. So if we beat Southampton, I feel the lowest position we'll get with the three games to go is 12th, hopefully. Uh, and then Wolves are above us with three points. So another win against Southampton here can put us right into 10th and 9th. So let's go to St James's Park against Southampton. So here we are at St James's Park, Newcastle United versus Southampton. Another three points here, and I think ninth and tenth could easily be on the cards. What a lovely sunny day it is here up in Newcastle as well. And hopefully I can give the Toons some more cheering because we've been brilliant in the last three or four games, scoring some lovely goals, especially the midfield. Here's the Southampton team for you, Mario Especially this man. And Shelby! Corner! Ooh, really? Wasn't the pass, I was hoping it was going to be more to him, but... He had to snap, snap at the shot. Team to do the double over their opponents today, Alan. Yeah, they made a statement, Martin, didn't they, with that earlier win on the way territory, and it was... There's Shelby, that's beautiful! Oh, damn it, I thought he was closer to the other side. Oh, it's another one-on-one -on -one that I've missed. Oh, and it's McCarthy. I remember this goalie in the FA Cup. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Oh. Over the top. Yeah, Lamina, he was good in the cup as well. Good box to box midfielder. Always rising though. On EA Sports coming very soon, the semi-final FA Cup fixture. Newcastle United, they'll be facing Arsenal away from home. El Yunusi. Must score. Teed up for a shot. Well, they got away with it in the end. What's happening? Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. That's brilliant. Kennedy! He was doing that at the beginning of the season. But we have counted and scored. Lovely. We deserve that as well. Lovely ball for Mbolo again. He's definitely more of a hold-up and assist man for me in this system than he is a goal scorer. But as long as my midfielders and wingers can do this, then I'm happy with him being in the team as an assist man. Great finish. Come on. I think we've run into some good bit of form towards the end of the season to help us get this hopefully 10th or 9th. 13 goals for Kennedy as well. Joint top goal scorer with Diarmay. So it's Newcastle United in front. Hoibier, time to get the ball in. Southampton trying to use the width in this oh, attack. Wow. Fantastic okay. Save. I think Darlow could have just held on to that, but clearly he felt like he had to push that out. Away, Alan, 
good save. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but never yeah, he's too close to, to him. The ball. Short. They've gone short with the corner. Oh, he's danced right through me, embarrassing. Oh. That's the right kind of football Poor goal. defending. Turn the shot away. Great effort, though. He's going in. Corner played in. Oh, I don't believe they've just scored that. We don't always see it when the players run over to celebrate with the manager, but this boss, he's got a close relationship with his players. You could see it there. Poor. was a wonderful watch that goal well the uh, attention to just the angle of him i don't even know how he did it he's faultless he'll be delighted with that he got power loop accuracy when he was facing away from it viewpoint on it i mean fair play great neck muscles mate oh darlo just floats his hand in the air again Oof. well that's a shame i was hoping for back-to-back -back clean sheets I don't think we've done that. Either. That's his first goal. Of course it is. Of course it's his first goal. Well, 1-1. One, one. We do struggle at home. I'm so much better away from home. But it's 1-1. One, one. Let's get into the second half. So here we are. St. James Park. Second half about to kick off. Southampton do kick off. The goalkeeper. And because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. Good vision. Right. Put into the middle. Come on, Ebola! Finishes on the volley in the top corner. Brilliant goal. What a strike. Brilliant. And I've actually scored from across. Oh, lovely finish from Mbolo. He doesn't score many, but when he does, they are normally special. Oh, wrapped his foot on that. Absolutely beautiful. He's not the easiest of managers to work for. I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand. Now two one. Let's keep so this result now. United have the lead. Well, bit of space to go so forward into. What is Luke Dion? An absolute tank or something? Oh, oh, John! Little lenient from the referee, maybe not booking him there, Alan. I think so. Another referee on another day. I think the yellow card almost certainly would have come out. Right, where are you going then? Let's try and watch his head. Oh, where are you going? Oh, awful penalty. I mean, I'm not, I'm not brilliant at penalties, but that was terrible. In it goes. Great clearance. Beautiful. Kennedy. Right, it's attack. Oh, I meant this counter, and then I. Oh no! Oh, that's not in Bolo, is it? Oh, that is horrible, horrible timing when we have an FA Cup semi-final game at Wembley. How did Yedling get beaten in the air? Yeah, oh no, this is a bad injury. And it is Mbolo after scoring that wonderful strike. He's probably going to be out for the rest of the season. He's going to be a big miss. Oh no. Perez is in. And it looks like, unfortunately for him, he will start. Oh, because Mbolo just got clattered. He overran the ball and he got caught. Well, the injured player is right, Perez, it's time for you to shine. To get the game restarted with a drop ball. Being closed down. Sorry, how did that game restart? Southampton lining up a substitution now. 
They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Oh, what? Oh, Perez! It was poor, it was scrappy, but Perez, massive confidence from a man who's now going to be starting the FA Cup semi-final, has come on in his first touch, is putting it in the back of the net. I mean, Diame should have scored. And Perez, his first touch, is him celebrating. On the volley again. Come on, Perez. That's his sixth goal. He's done well for me at the beginning, but bringing in Bolo in in January, he's a better player. Well, another three wonderful points. Two wins out of two in episode 23. Again, as I said earlier, not done that for a very long time. Well, it feels like it. Six points. 2-0 win against Leicester. 3-1 win at St. Daniel Park against Southampton. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Yeah, Perez gets on the sword. The only sour taste in this episode is then Bolo unfortunately pick up an entry. And without knowing how long it's going to be, he may miss the FA Cup semi final against Arsenal. And then Bolo has dislocated his shoulder, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure he was holding his ankle. He is out for eight weeks. So that is it for him. He is out for the rest of the season. And it also means, unfortunately for him, next week. Our FA Cup game at Wembley against Arsenal. He is also out of huge, huge shame for Mbolo after scoring that wonderful volley as well. But he will miss the FA Cup semi-final. So episode 24 will be extended highlights of Arsenal versus Newcastle to try and get into the final of the FA Cup in my first season. And we could be playing against either West Ham versus Man City. So episode 24 will be no Premier League, it will just be my FA Cup tie against Arsenal. Extended highlights. If I get into the final, I will do an episode where it's just covering the final and it will be unedited. So it will be 90 minutes in game 90 minutes. It will be the full 90 minutes of the FA Cup final if I can get past Arsenal. But before that, Arsenal will be my next episode episode 24 and it'll be extended highlights so let's hope we can get into the final and have the tunes have another another day out to Wembley but thank you very much for watching episode 23 three games left of the Premier League season before the summer and we have an FA Cup semi-final to look forward to so again thank you very much for watching the episode thank you for the support thank you for the views and the likes that I've been getting if you can continue with those that would be excellent and I'll see you in the next episode at Wembley